guys. Hello. Good day. First of all, thank you for spending part of your busy day with me. Um, I am Loren Cunningham Hammond, also known as the trainer with too many names. Um, I am one of the uh, National General Accident Health trainers here on product. Now, if you guys have any questions at any time, please hit me up in the chat or the Q&A section, and I will be more than happy to go over said questions. I will read them aloud and um, answer them, but I will do it after each section has been completed, because otherwise I get, like I said, shiny rock squirrel all over the place. So today we're gonna go over a, a lot of information. So if at any time you want a copy of this presentation, I will have my email address at the end of the presentation and you feel free to email me and I am more than happy to send it over for you. So let's go ahead and get started. So today we're gonna to be talking about the critical illness term life policies, as well as our term life policies. And we're gonna go into our standalone cancer heart and stroke. Now guys, please do not confuse the cancer heart and stroke. You can also use the cancer heart and stroke as a bundle technique with our plan enhancer. But today I'm just gonna be going over the uh, cancer heart and stroke as a standalone product for your insureds. So let's go ahead and get it going. So our critical illness and our term life insurance policies. So we're going to go into the critical illness as well as the term life. We're going to go over the plan options, uh, plan details, as well as some agent and member resources. Now, these are resources I like to spend a little more time on for you, the agent. So you could utilize them as a means for touch base with your insured, teach them how to navigate our website. Um, also an area where I like to touch base is where you have additional resources, more information on our plans, the limitations, exclusions based on each product. So, Unfortunately, every year, 530,000 Americans declare personal bankruptcy due to medical bills. Every 40 seconds, an American will have a heart attack. Over 1.8 million Americans will be diagnosed with some type of cancer in the year 2020 alone. Guys, these are scary, scary scary statistics. So you as a, a licensed insurance agent do have, in my opinion, a fiduciary responsibility to your insured. So you want to make sure you cover all the gaps so your insured is not exposed. So with our critical illness term life plans, these are going to reduce financial impacts of a critical illness or both clients, you know, not just the client, but also their family. Um, this is going to provide a client with a critical illness benefit as well as a term life benefit. Now guys, as I was saying, this is a bundle. So you're getting two policies or multiple policies in one, but we're also going to touch on the standalone term life benefit later in the presentation. So, Clients are going to receive a lump sum payment. Now we have 15 critical conditions, so it has to fall under the, those guidelines. Again, this is going to pay on top of any other benefit that your insured might already have. So if your insured has that plan enhancer with a um, sickness hospitalization writer, and you will also write them a critical illness policy, again, they're going to receive both payments provided that's what you've given them. So there's no, there's not going to be a maximum one or the other if you write both policies. Now, if you write two cancer, if you write a plan enhancer with a cancer, heart and stroke, and then you try to take out a second, it's going to, it's not going to work like that. So it's one or the other. So the benefit ranges go from 25000 all the way up to $100,000. So based on the probing questions, you are going to figure out what is the best level of benefit for your particular client's needs. 
Now, the beautiful thing is there is no network restriction, no deductibles, coinsurance, co-pays, or even pre-authorization required for the critical illness term life policy. Now, we're going to touch on the uh, benefits as well as covered conditions. So our critical illness benefits range 25, 30, 50, 75, or even $100,000. Now, please note that the term life coverage is going to match the face amount for the critical illness. So if you write that policy for $100,000 on the critical illness, the term life policy is also going to be $100,000. Now, these this the term life is payable up to age 85. Now it is a five year term policy. Now the critical illness benefit is paid in the event of, now please note, please note it has to fall within this parameter. Invasive cancers, heart attack, stroke, kidney failure, uh, coma, blindness, deafness. Now, you have to look at policies. It could up a certain dollar amount for one ear or both ears. Major organ transplants, paralysis, loss of a limb, major burns. Now, 25% of the face amount would be paid out in the event your insured had a coronary artery bypass graft, non-invasive cancers, so like the basal cell carcinoma, you know, skin cancer, just a little spot that would be potentially paid out. Again, non-invasive cancer, 25% of the policy payout. Advanced Alzheimer's disease, heart valve surgery. Now, after that 25% is paid out, remember they still have that $75,000 of the benefit remaining. Yes, we're going to go into more detail about that. So let's look at Kent here, for example. He purchased a $50,000 critical illness policy, and it had the term life coverage. Three years after he purchased the policy, he was diagnosed with an early stage prostate cancer. So unfortunately, five years later, uh, after his initial cancer diagnosis, he had a heart attack. So remember, early stage cancers, 25% of the payout. So in this case, $12,500. So the balance of $37,500 was then paid out to him after he had that heart attack. Now, please remember, this has to be a policy that is in force. Yes, yes, it has to be in force. So again, 100% of the policy is paid out, 25% for that early diagnosis of the cancer, and then the remaining 75% was paid out after he had a heart attack. So you see $50,000 on the entire policy. Eligibility, state availability, limitations and exclusions, as well as enrollments are what we're going to go over now. So the primary applicant must be between the ages of 18 to 59. Now that is at the time of application. A spouse covered is, is the same, same dollar amount as the primary, so no percentages. So if it's 100,000 for the husband, it's 100,000 for the wife. No dependent child coverage on this policy. No child only policies. Now, please note the critical illness is renewable to age 65. The term life is renewable up to age 85. Now, please note on the critical illness, we do require a health questionnaire. These are the current states in which the policy is available. I'm just gonna leave that. If you wanna take a print screen, that's fine. Now, limitations and exclusions. So anything that is pre-existing, so those pre-existing conditions, first cancer diagnosed within 90 days. Sickness, first diagnosis within 30 days. War or any active war, mental illness, 
illegal acts, hazardous occupations. So for that guy that likes to alligator wrestle, if he gets his hand bit off, unfortunately, it's not going to pay out. Yes, I actually do have a client that likes to alligator wrestle. That's his profession. Um, yes, and he's in Florida. Uh, aviation, anything aviation? Complications due to cosmetic surgeries. Now, guys, as I progress through this presentation, I'm going to show you where you can find a more detailed list of the limitations and exclusions. So don't worry about that. So if you guys have any questions on the critical illness term life, please let me know now. Okay, let's continue on guys. So the cancer heart attack and stroke policy. So again, this is the standalone policy. Now, please note in our plan enhancer, you can put the cancer heart and stroke as a writer, but this is for the straight standalone policy. So on the cancer heart and stroke, we're going to go over the plan options as well as the plan details. And again, I'm going to touch on the agent and member resources. This is for you, the agent. So unfortunately, as I kind of said before, over 1.8 million Americans will be diagnosed with some type of cancer just in 2020 alone. Every 40 seconds, an American has a heart attack and more than 795,000 Americans have a stroke annually. Scary statistics, guys. But what's even worse is 140,000 of those persons' uh, strokes are fatal. So you always want to take the time to make sure that your insured is completely covered in the event something were to happen. Now, clients would, again, receive that lump sum benefit payment. Now, please note on the cancer, heart, and stroke policy, it has to be a first ever diagnosed cancer, heart attack, or stroke. So if you've had an insured that has had a... Um, Cancer history, say 15 years ago, um, unfortunately, that is not going to pay out for them because there was a diagnosis of cancer. Even if it's just like I was talking about that basal cell carcinoma, say that was you know 10 years ago, unfortunately, because they have uh, a history in their medical file, unfortunately, it is not going to be a covered benefit. But the heart attack and or stroke is going to be a covered benefit for your insured. So remember, these, this plan is going to pay on top of any other plan benefit that you have for them. So like that plan enhancer. So if you had both policies, they would receive payment provided again, it's that first ever diagnosis. Uh, the benefit level range, again, 25,000 all the way up to 75,000. There is no network restrictions here. So let's talk about the benefit and covered conditions. So we have four benefit levels on the cancer heart and stroke policy, 25,000, 30,000, 50,000, and $75,000. So again, this is a cash benefit, guys. So it can be used to pay their medical bills, we would hope they would, um, or if they wanna go out and buy themselves a new car, so be it, we don't judge. Um, it is their monies. So again, this is paid per covered person on the policy. So again, they have to be on the policy at the time, as well as current and if the $75,000 uh, heart attack. So like that 7525 we talked about earlier, um, I have an insured, he uh, had his child on his policy, adult child. Um, started the child off on the policy, things were great. He dropped him off the policy. Oh, he's young, he's healthy, nothing's gonna happen to him. Um, unfortunately, about nine months later, he found out his son had cancer and went to file a claim to receive the monies. And then unfortunately, he found out the hard way that, oops, he forgot that he took the child off the policy. So remember, it's named insured on the policies, guys. Yes, this is a situation that has arose a lot lately. 
So remember, all covered persons on the policy. So let's talk about those covered conditions. So 100% of the selected benefit amount is paid for the first ever diagnosis. So again, life-threatening cancer, first time diagnosis. So if again, like myself, I have a cancer history, um, this is not going to work to my benefit because I've already had a diagnosis in my medical history coronary artery disease or cardiac arrhythmia resulting in a heart attack, cerebral vascular disease resulting in a stroke. So again, 100% of the policy is going to be paid out, again, in those particular situations. Now, 25% of the face amount on the policy is going to be paid out and again, in the first ever diagnosis of, say, for example, the, cor the coronary artery disease or cardiac arrhythmia resulting in a coronary bypass, 10% of the selected benefit amount is paid for, again, first ever diagnosis of carotid artery disease resulting in a cardioangioplasty. Now, please note that after the partial is paid out, just like the other example I gave you, the remaining percentage is still the remaining benefit. So let's look at Oscar here. So Oscar went in for a routine checkup and found out he had colon cancer. So he had that $50,000 cancer heart and stroke plan so again, $50,000 for the cancer, heart, and stroke. His uh, treatment cost was $14,019. And so you'll see he received a lump sum benefit payment. Um, and again, $35,981 was the remaining cash benefit. Remember guys, he's going to receive a lump sum benefit if it applies, because remember those percentages also can play into this. So let's talk about eligibility, state availability, limitations and exclusions. So the primary applicant and spouse have to be between the ages of 18 and 64 years of age at the time of application. The dependent child coverage is available, but please note we do not offer a child only policy. The uh, cancer heart and stroke is renewable up to age 75. Now, please note again, there is a health questionnaire required. The current states in which the cancer heart and stroke standalone policy is available. Now, limitations and exclusions. Yes, guys, there's always those dreaded limitations and exclusions. So any uh, pre-existing conditions within 24 months of the policy. First, cancer diagnosis. Now, please note the state and the time frame. So the first 90 days, and you'll see the states. Uh, first 60 days, like Alabama. First 30 days in the according states. Now, the cancer, heart, and stroke occurrence within the first 30 days. Again, if it's the 29th day from the time you issued the policy, unfortunately, it is not going to pay out. So any illegal drug use, again, not a covered entity. So unfortunately, I had uh, an agent tell me he had an insured that was um, participating in some drugs and his drug use then created um, a major catastrophe and the gentleman had a heart attack. The agent then tried to make a claim on behalf of his insured and unfortunately because it was illegal drug related, the heart attack was induced from his drug use. Um, unfortunately, the policy was not paid out. So remember, illegal drug use? No, no. So let's talk about, um, well, before I go on to our standalone term life policy, if you guys have any questions, and then we will go on to the term life. 
And again, the term life can be combined with the critical illness, so it can be added, or you can do a straight standalone term life policy. So plan design eligibility, as well as the enrollment. And we're going to, again, the post sale is what um, I like to touch on for you, the agents, as well as the resources. So by having a term life policy, you're providing peace of mind for your insured. You know, unfortunately, death becomes all of us. So by having a term life policy, it is going to cover an everyday expense after that loss of income. And it's going to help, you know, if that insured wants to pay off their mortgage or even college tuition, great. Uh, again, provides that financial peace of mind, especially during those child um, raising years. So benefit levels, we have quite the variety. Again, so the standalone term life policy, 20,000, 25,000, 30,000, 50,000, 75,000, and a hundred thousand dollars. Now, again, this is based on what you are going to work out with your customer, what is going to best suit their needs, their budget. But again, this is a term life policy standalone. So some of the limitations and exclusions are illegal or hazardous activities, self-inflicted, um, full-time in the armed forces, war or any active war, now, the term life policy itself is a 10 year level term, but its rates are guaranteed for five years. Now, as most of you may know, we have the life association that is automatically built into the product, depending on the state, or it can also be purchased. Now, the benefits of the life association, well, you have that telemed for life. You know, some people call it teledoc. It's uh, the service where you can connect with a doctor via the phone or video chat 24 hours a day, seven days a week, unlimited consultations. Guys, there's no additional charge. Um, recently, I had to utilize teledoc myself and I ate a $50 copay. So with the Life Association, no additional fees needed. Uh, with your insurance, um, Life Association membership, they also get uh, hospital negotiated services. So there's a discount, uh, discounts on direct lab services, as well as, you know, family benefits, fitness uh, discounts, as well as identity theft, um, auto discounts, like I just bought tires for my, per my car, uh, travel services, retail stores, dining, entertainment, the list goes on and on. Now, here's the current states available to write that term life policy. Now, eligible age. So at the time of application, individuals need, between, need to be between the ages of 18 and 64. Dependent coverage is not an available option, nor is a child only option. Now, guys, here at National General, you can write a policy effective any day from the 1st through the 31st of the month, or, you know, you can even write that policy effective tomorrow. So the initial payment is any date between the time of application, but it must be before the effective date. Reoccurring payments are five days before the monthly anniversary of the effective date. So if Sean were to write me a policy effective tomorrow, the 21st, Going forward, my monthly anniversary would be the 16th of the month. Acceptable forms of payment are checking or savings account, Visa, MasterCard, Discover. Now, agent and member resources. So if you go to our website at natgenhealth.com, this is what our page looks like. If you click on the agent and brokers tab, I'll just show you right quick. This is where you're going to find any and all useful information, you the agent. So 
agent tools and information. So let's say you just need a little refresher on a plan enhancer or any of our products. Well, did you know that you could go to our YouTube page, which is found in the agents tools and information tab by clicking there, it'll go directly to our YouTube page and you can freshen up if you need, even on the quote it. Um, now, the one that I really want to touch on is the marketing material. So marketing material is where you're going to find those plan brochures. Let's say you need a more detailed list of the limitations and exclusions on any of our product. So the critical illness, if you go in there, click on the plan brochure, pull up critical illness and then select the state that you are applying or considering applying for an insured, it'll give you the full list, a deep dive, if you will, of the plan brochures as in the limitations, exclusions. Now, flyers and trifolds. Yes, guys, we have flyers and trifolds. You can download the PDF, input your agency's information, you can save it, you can email it to your insured, or if you're doing the good old fashioned face to face, you can print it out and present it to them. So that is available for you, the agent. Now, an area that I like to use to touch base with my clients is the existing customers. So I like to follow up with my insured and give them a brief education on this particular website. Again, I think it's a great opportunity for you to touch base and you know, maybe if they were on, a, on the fence about that dental policy, this is a great opportunity for you to touch base. So you can be like, hey, Mr. Insured, let's say you need to find that doctor or you, know, you wanna change your doctor or hey, even if you're considering that the dental plan, the select dental plan, for example, you can go in here to the find doctors and facilities and you, the agent or your insured can go in and see if their doctor is within any of our networks. General policy documents for your insured, let's say they need to submit a claim or you're gonna submit that claim on their behalf. Again, this is where you're gonna find it. Again, I like for that the insured I like to touch base because, you know, hey, Mr. Insured, if you need to view your policy documents or even say have a temporary medical card or dental card um, printed out, this is where we can teach them to go and navigate and log in. So let's say that they've gone to the mynatgen.com page. So that's the member portal. So again, mynatgen.com is the uh, web address that your insured would utilize. So, you know, when you've completed that application with your insured and they need to do that electronic signature, well, they're going to have their email address already attached because we email it out for them to sign. They're going to create their password. So again, I like to tell them, hey, you know what, bookmark this. So if you need to go back and order that ID card or you want to view your policy documents or, hey, you know what, let's say you need to update that payment information or, hey, you know what, I forgot when my payment comes out. Again, this is where your insured is going to go and that's the mynatgen.com member portal page. Again, if they need that ID card, this is where it's going to be found. So really brief, brief uh, recap here, guys. So remember the critical illness term insurance policies are going to pay a lump sum cash benefit. It is a wide benefit range. You can pick any doctor, any hospital, any network. Um, 15 eligible conditions. We also have that term life insurance built in or you know, the available. The availability is endless. We have multiple states that you can write this policy in. Sorry. Again, this is on the term life. Again, the lump sum 
or excuse me, the cancer heart and stroke. So again, lump sum benefit. This is the cancer heart and stroke coverage. Remember, it's first time diagnosis for the cancer heart or stroke. Pick any doctor, any hospital, a wide variety of options. Um, you, as you notice, we have quite a few states that this policy is also available in. And dependent children coverage is available for the cancer heart and stroke. Now, roots to go all the way back to 1939, you know, NatGen is a large company, large history. We are given an A plus rating by AM Best, which is a superior rating. We specialize in both short term as well as supplemental insurance policies. Now, guys, if you have any questions, whether it's today, tomorrow, a couple months, please feel free to email me at the NGAH training at NGIC.com. And I am more than happy to do the groundwork, do the background and double check on information for you so you can focus on what you do best, which is the sales portion. Thank you for your um, attendance and taking time out of your, your busy, busy day. So um, I will catch you guys on the next one. Have a good one.